Hello all you marvellous people, welcome along to Sport Like It Is. My name is Ed and I've brought with me an undeniably suave human being. It is the future, Richard Maspero. How are you doing? Good, nice to be back in South Africa. It's a nice change from Auckland, which is where Ben and I spoke last time, but good to be back and into the swing of things. How was the Shire? Beautiful, beautiful, lovely country. Thoroughly enjoyed my time there. We're not here to talk about New Zealand, we're here to talk about the Curry Cup final, of course. This weekend, the Lions hosting their first final in nine years. They've been trudging along 12 years without silverware. 62,000 people expected to pack into Coca-Cola Park this weekend against the Sharks. We've got all their Springboks back, I think there's seven in the side. Likes of Alberts, Pat Lambie, The Beast, The Bismarck, all those sorts. What is your feeling? The ethos, the kind of togetherness of the Lions or the individual fear of the Sharks? I think if you, if you put it that way, I mean, it's fairly clear cut. It's, you know, a better side on paper versus a side that's played better as a team during the whole season. My thoughts, I've got to go with the Lions. I think they've just mm. had a really, really good season. I think they've played some splendid rugby. I think as a team, they're playing just phenomenally well. And I think, you know, it's nice having the Springboks come back, but at the end of the day, it is disruptive to the side. It's difficult to get those guys to gel together with the team unit they haven't been playing with so I don't know my uh, my head says you know the lion's heart also says lion so I'm gonna go with him we've got a new cat with us today look at that we hey, is it Tigger Tigger name the lions of course uh, were trounced 53 9 uh, a couple of weeks back by the Sharks in Durban they got absolutely destroyed Ryan, Ryan Kankowski played brilliantly in that game I don't know if you would have been away for that he scored two tries and his you know the way he was carrying the ball his vision that type of thing was phenomenal in that game Will it be different this time? You know, we're expecting vociferous support from the Johannesburg faithful. I was there to see them play against Province last weekend. It was a remarkable atmosphere, probably the best I've seen since the 2009 Lions game in Joburg. Do you think the crowd is going to have the biggest effect in that game? Well, it's probably more people that they've got packed into Coca-Cola Park than they've had for the entire duration of Super Rugby and now leading up to the knockouts of the Curry Cup. So it's something that they're not going to be used to. It is a final, um, and, and I think a lot of it is going to hinge on, on what the crowd can do for the Lions. You know, regardless of, of who's supporting who, I think a lot of people will just come out to watch a Curry Cup final. But uh, I think the majority of people will be going with the Lions. Um, it is home ground advantage, and hopefully that's going to count for something for them. But uh, it's going to be a very interesting battle up front. I think that's where the game is going to be decided. Is it going to be the, the might of an all Springbok front row that's going to lay a good platform for Bismarck, the loose forwards and, beast back. and then the back line? I mean, what's going to happen to a, a reasonably good loose trio that the Lions have if the pack is struggling, if uh, they're not getting good front football, the back line? I, I don't know. It's, I think it's going to be decided up front and, and how the players go there. Massive, massive moment for Elton Yanchis. He's, of course, playing in probably his biggest game of his career so far, barring the odd Springbok game, of course. Freddie Michelak he's up against. That's going to be an intriguing battle. We're not sure he's going to kick between him and Freddie Michelak, but there are two players that I've really enjoyed watching for the Lions this season. Future Springbok material, Michael Killian and Yaku Tauta. I don't know how much you've seen of them this season. They've scored, I think, 15 tries between the two of them. So you're going for the Lions. Yeah, go with the Lions. Your thoughts? I think Lions by five. I'd love to see them do it. John Mitchell said this week he was vigilant against individual individuality. I thought that was such a great line from the man. What a, what a line. And uh, I would love to see the Lions do it. I think everybody would love to see the Lions do it, barring, of course, the Sharks supporters. So uh, Ben is actually going for the Sharks this weekend, but we're pretty unanimous. We'd like to see the Lions win by five. Who are you backing? Cheers, guys. Cheers.